As you guys know, we're here in the United States competing in the Confederations Cup with the United States national team. Right now, I'm currently in Los Angeles at my parents' house before I head back to Seattle for the next game. And I did a lot of talking with my parents, also did a lot of talking with my wife over the phone about my new child's name. And I think we have finally come to a conclusion. The baby will be named Alex Roberto Barkley. We had to throw that Roberto in there partially because he was born in Spain, so he's gonna be Spanish, but it's weird because he's also got parents from the United States and Germany because my wife is from Germany. So if he becomes a professional footballer, I do believe that he will have the option to choose between those three nationalities for his really home country, which national team he wants to play for. We're doing a little bit of house hunting here in the United States as well because you guys know I'm always in the United States for national team games and whatnot. So let me know, should we buy a house in the United States or not? Let me know in the comments, but now it's time to get into our next game against Brazil. This one could send us to the knockout rounds. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun. So as you guys get a look at the group stage, the group table right there, you will see that this is a must-win game for us. If we lose this game and Germany wins their game, they will be advancing instead of us. So let's see if we can come out here and pick up all three points. It's must-needed here at home, Seattle. Century Link Field is the location. Brazil would get the first chance. To start off this game, the cross was swung in, but they're going to have another chance from a corner, DeAndre Yedlin with the block in the 14th minute. Can Brazil capitalize from their first corner kick of the game, sending the ball into the box? Wide open shots, but it just goes wide. Roberto Firmino right there takes it, puts it wide. Look at that shot, so close to going into the back of the net. Brazil, though, would come away with another chance to go up 1-0 early in the game, away from their home country. What a stop! But it's deflected right back to the Brazilian player and it's put right into the back of the net to give Brazil the early lead in this one. 18th minute, go ahead goal, what a shot, what a goal. Great save from our keeper, the rebound just fell straight to him. Look at that save, it might have even hit off the post, the crossbar there I should say. Wow, what a goal. We go behind but we'd have a chance to come back right here and make things all leveled up at 1-1. It's Barkley with the free kick, whipping it in, and then this. And what a goal that was right there to equalize Michael Bradley off the volley. An insane shot goes past the Brazilian keeper. 1-1, all leveled here in the Confederations Cup. We need this win to secure our spots in the knockout rounds of this tournament. Let's see what we can do. Can we make it 2-1 before the end of the first half? Another shot was taken, but a great save this time by the keeper. The halftime whistle would finally blow right here. Score is 1-1. We are still very much in this game. A lot of people are writing us out. Even though we won the World Cup, our team on paper definitely isn't as strong as Brazil. But with Alexander Barkley in the lineup, anything is possible right now. Best player in the world, no questions asked. And starting things off the chance for us, but a clearance there by Marcelo, still 1-1, Barkley with it, he gets it back, can he make it, 2-1, the spin move, the shot hits off the post, what an exceptional shot from Barkley, but right here, the header is on goal, and put it to the back of the net, what a strike, 2-1 now, United States gets that goal, that puts him up in this match against Brazil, an insane goal, from the corner, Barkley has just been so dominant off of corners as of late. Marcelo can't get that afro to the ball and Barkley buries it in the back of the net. That is what we love to see. Upper 90 top bends right there. What a strike, what a goal from his head. Barkley 
usually doesn't use his head all that often, and we wouldn't be done there. Brazil, they would just come back and make some mistakes. A penalty is one. It's going to be given to Barkley right here. Can he make it 3-1 and secure this win? Just a terrible tackle right there by Douglas Costa. A mistake, and will it lead to a goal? You bet it does, straight down the middle, 3-1, two goals in this match for Barkley, what a game, just rubbing it in here on the Brazilian fans, great goal, I thought I'd go down the middle, keeper guesses wrong, if he just would have stood there, probably would have made the save, but he can't do it, game is over, the United States are moving on to the next round of this competition, what a great way to do it here in Seattle in front of our home fans. We're moving on to the final four of the Confederations Cup. We've won the World Cup in the last competition. We lost in the Copa America. Can we come back and win the Confederations Cup and again prove our dominance as one of the best national teams in the world? We're gonna see boys, but moving right along, headed out for a nice early morning cup of coffee i gotta stay up keep my energy up here guys it's just been great with the united states national team so far i always enjoy playing for them and when we're playing in this great of form it doesn't get any better than this i'm loving life right now not having to worry about my my time at barcelona moving teams and then i found out some very important news look at this i had it on my phone oh my god i need to get home straight away thank god i brought my xbox to the united states with me the bbva team of the season has been released and look at these players look at these cards guys holy crap a 98 rated alexander barkley card i need to get my hands on him you guys know how i love ultimate team i'm gonna be playing ultimate team probably all week while i'm here except when we got games and we do have a game coming up so I'm gonna have to take a break straight away and look who we're playing in the semifinals it's against Mexico the United States against their arch rivals Mexico here we go into the game it's another home match this time again against Mexico no bigger rivalry right now for the United States national team than this one right here can we come away with the win and advance to the finals on the other side of the knockout round. It is Spain against Brazil, the team we just beat previously in our last game. What will we be able to do in this one? Can Barkley lead his team to victory once again? I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to lead us because, to be honest, there aren't too many good players on this roster right now besides Barkley and Michael Bradley. A very young lineup for the United States. Here we go, guys, straight into this one. And we would have the first chance, the pass, is played off to one of my teammates. A beautiful pass by Barkley. They're using his head, but my teammate can't find the back of the net here. Mexico, first chance of the game for them in the 20th minute. What a save by the keeper. And Barkley trying to make things happen. Plays a perfect pass. But what was my teammate doing? He doesn't make the necessary run. Barkley on it again. And this time, I'm going to work my magic. Sending a ball into the box. Barkley sending the cross in. Shot. Just goes wide right there from Jamison. What a shot. What a cross. What a pass by Barkley. How is that one not in the back of that net? Guys, like I'm saying, a lot of young players on this roster. It's going to be tough for us to score goals. What a save there for our keeper right before the end of the first half. And the halftime whistle would blow right here. The score is still nil-nil. No goals in the first half. Which team? will be able to strike first in the second half and get that opening goal to secure their team spot in the finals of the Confederations Cup. Let's get things started and see what we can do here, guys. See if we can get that game-winning goal. We would have the first chance to do so. Beautiful ball played in the Barkley out of side to pass it off. Wide open shot on goal, but it was missed. Still nil-nil at this point. 59th minute. The United States on it once again. The shot from my teammate nearly finds its way in the upper corner what a strike but the miss i think that was jameson there the young man tries to find the top corner can't do so barkley gets the ball from a corner on the top of the box once again i love that spot every time there's a corner i'm always calling for it on the top of the box i can't get a goal right there this time mexico with a chance and then they get the rebound as well can they make it one nil right here what a save. Our goalkeeper has been playing absolutely amazing recently. And this 
is that nice competition, that nice rivalry you guys like to see between the United States and Mexico. A dirty challenge right here from the Mexican player results in a yellow card. There hasn't been much of that so far in this match. And here, another chance for us. Can we go up? What is my teammate doing right here? Well, it was going to be a shot on goal, and then it's blocked by my own teammate. He was called offside. Just a stupid mistake right here. No idea what my teammate was doing, but we would come back, and Barkley, can he get the game-winning goal? And yes, boys, the main man, Alexander Barkley, does it once again, giving the United States the goal that puts them up. Mexico had one last shot to get back into the game. They couldn't do so. I get the game-winning goal for my home country, sending us to the finals of the Confederations Cup. Will we pick up the win and win this competition completely? You guys are going to find out in the next episode. Now time to celebrate this win and find out who will we be playing. Will it be Brazil? Will it be Spain? We'll know soon enough. But as we move along here, boys, walking back to the hotel, and I'm still thinking about what is going to happen next season, if I'm going to get loaned out, if I'm going to ask for a transfer I'm most likely going to be leaving Barcelona. We've been here for two years, but if I decide to go on loan, I could go to a smaller team and possibly improve them, bring them to the top, then come back to Barcelona and either leave or play there for another year. We'll focus on that later though, guys, because the next match is against Spain for the Confederations Cup Finals. Let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this episode. Go smack that like button and we'll catch you in the next episode.